it's snack time. Do, 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 do. It's the end of the day and I get me a snack. Look at that. Oh yeah. Doesn't that look interesting? We use that as fish bait, right? But no. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you see just the nectar inside of that? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, guys. Oh. Mm -hmm. These cecropia trees, gummy worm fruit, snake fruit. Oh, they just. Mm. When they're ripe, they just slide right off like that. Look at all the flowers on this beauty. They come up like little fingers. Look at that. See? And then when they start ripening, they hang down. And then they get all thick and gelatinous. Get off there, bug. Get stink bug on there. Add some spicy flavor. <laughs> Look at that. Mmm. That is such a unique flavor. These are super sweet. Mmm. They just slide off the inner stem like that. And they get filled with like a juicy kind of nectar. Mmm. And these are female trees, so they don't have any seed in them. As far as I know, there aren't any male trees in the U.S. So, and they just produce the fruit without any seed. And they just fill with delicious, juicy, sweet nectar. Mm. But they got a little crunch to them. But if they're seeded, which I, I have had them seeded, they're super crunchy. But these ones produce fruit without any pollination mmm see how they grow that's the flower and they hang down when they're ripe the flavor is these are very sweet these ones are super sweet kind of mm, kind of like a good fig flavor like a fresh fig really good juicy and the tips are more juicy than the tops because all the nectar slides down to the tips of the of the fruit so it all accumulates in the tip there mm -hmm. just delicious mm -hmm. and kind of I like a really juicy fig with like a hint of of sweet nuttiness to it mm -hmm. yeah I like a sweet nuttiness just Mm, absolutely amazing and these trees are pretty rare here in the US which is a shame because they are just absolutely delicious you air layer them is how you propagate them or you take cuttings cuttings you get maybe 20% chance of them rooting so air layering works a little bit better but you air layer them so they can stay pretty small can stick them in a large pot if they go in the ground they can grow extremely large extremely fast but they thrive in pots and you can keep them much smaller in pots you can keep them under under six feet in a pot and you what you do is you just clip the center so instead of it growing straight up it grows bushy and um yeah so you they branch it out instead of growing up and you get a little bushy potted plant like this. Really pretty, massive leaves on them. You can see this. They got huge leaves. The leaves get, I mean, two feet across, if not more, three feet across. They're kind of palmate like that, and they just get massive. Mm. And they pretty much fruit year round. This fruit, this one's been flowering for a couple months now and they're just now ripening up so mm, you can see all the flowers on there all of those are just flower after flower after flower so you know guys grow food and uh, mm, find some of those rare delicious things that you can only get if you grow it yourself see you later like and subscribe and uh, tell me if you've ever had one of these down in the comments Gummy worm, snake fruit, whatever you want to call it. Mmm, Cecropia. Just, mmm, we need some more because they are 
absolutely delicious.